Listen, I like to consider myself an open-minded person. Somebody who likes to go against the norm. There's a line though for me. And it's like, kind of like this. It's kind of like a line like this. It's a thin line. Can we make that a little bit thinner? It's like that. Like, like a very thin, fine line where um, something's too much for me, personally. Fire haircutting is one of those things that is too much for me to handle. My mind doesn't want to go there. It doesn't want it to be a thing. But I'm not gonna lie when I say I've been curious about it. Ever since I watched it, I think <laughs> in a reaction video. Yes, there was a reaction video I did about fire hair cutting. And ever since then, I have been interested in it. It's finally come to the point where I wanna give it a try. I wanna do it. I am opening myself up. I'm going past that fine line of what is too much for me. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try out this. I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to try and have an open mind for today's video. I'm gonna be a believer today and just try it. So, I will be doing fire haircuts on my good friend, Miss Mini Queen. I know she's been here a lot. I know it's kind of annoying, like she's not a real person, but like, I don't know, she's my friend. And like, I hope you can find love in your heart for her because she's gonna be here a lot. We're gonna use the same one I've been using for the last few videos because she is ready to just be gone now. I have a few more stocked up in the closet, a few more mannequins ready to go. But uh, Miss Many Queen that I've been using the last few videos is ready to just have her hair cremated. And maybe that's what's gonna happen today or maybe she's gonna get a fabulous haircut and she will live on and she will thrive. But I'm thinking probably not. But first, hold the frig on. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and you guys, you know what? Giveaways are cool and I like doing them and they're fun. So if you wanna enter, listen the frig up. I am giving away five glitteratis. That is right, five of my beautiful lover glitterati. Put it in your hair before you style it. It'll make it smooth, it'll make it shiny. It'll have your style lasting you all day through humidity, through everything, I swear. But anyways, giving away five of these to you guys because I freaking love you and I love you and I love you. All you do is follow me on Instagram, Bradmondo on C, follow Xmondo on Instagram, and then just throw a like to one of my recent pictures on either account. Leave a comment, do whatever you want to make yourself notice. And I'll be picking five of you to send Glitterati PR packages to. And the giveaway will close on June 27th and I will be announcing the winner on my Instagram story. So check that out on that day to see if you won one of the five bottles of Glitterati. Thank you so much for watching that. And let's get this freaking video started. Let's do it. So believe it or not, I don't know much about how to actually go about cutting hair with fire. No, that is not taught in school. That is not taught anywhere how to do that. So I decided I could do research on my own or I could do research with you. And I thought maybe doing research with you would be more fun. So let's do some research. So there is this video by ASLS and it's called Women Try Fire Haircuts. And maybe we can learn a thing or two here before we start. But basically, I'm, I want to split up Miss Manny Quinn's hair down the middle, do a fire haircut on one side, and do a regular haircut on the other side, and compare both, and see what happens. That's my concept. All right, let's watch the video. It sounds like glow torches are just surrounding me right now. Oh my god. Oh, those are, act that's a blow torch. We're on our way to Mohair Incorporated to get some fire haircuts. Dude, they're so so brave. Oh, I'd be a little scared if I were them. Why are they volunteering for this? This is just, but Brad, open mind. Think open mind. It is something that is <laughs> but it is the best way to remove split ends. Imagine what is the Asians uh, did before. How did they cut their hair? With <laughs> knives! <laughs> Not with fire. Somebody probably lit their hair on fire and realized maybe that's not a good idea. And then somebody else was like, yo, we should use a knife. And somebody was like, yeah, that's a great idea. So no, I don't exactly believe the ancients used fire to cut their hair. I'm sorry, I'm gonna 
say that's a probably a no for me. Guys, well, I am not a historian, so don't come for me if that's incorrect, but just a thought, just a thought. There's a legend about Claire Potter. She used the hot blades too. Ouch. Anyway, yeah, okay. I first saw this technique done and they were actually trying to remove vice. You, you know, know, actually it does make sense because if you can imagine a 13 years old girl, you're not gonna shave her head off. There's also um, medicine for lice. Shampoo for lice. You can go the fire route or I don't know you could get the medicine for it But you know, I didn't go to medical school. So I'm not a doctor and I, I could be wrong once again I could be wrong It also has a few split ends, you know, more than few I think a thousand split ends <gasps> Okay, there's honestly like nobody in the world doesn't have split ends, okay? I don't care how healthy your hair is. You got split ends. The only time you should be concerned about your split ends is when there's a lot of them and it's horrendous and it's frizzy and disgusting because of them. Otherwise, everybody has split ends, okay? So she wants a haircut out of her shoulders. Okay, I could get into that. Because the blades are so hot, it's actually so displayed down. Wow, that looks so much better. We're not taking length off with fire. <laughs> Stop saying that again. I am not sure heat seals keratin. So if you didn't already know, your hair is made out of keratin, which is a protein found in skin. I'm not sure that you can put fire on keratin and it somehow seals it. Like if you had a cut on your hand, you wouldn't go then put fire on it in order to heal that cut. Your hair is made out of the same compound that your skin is made out of. So again, not a scientist. <laughs> But that is my opinion. Take it or leave it. I think the balance is good there. I am really coming for them and I'm so sorry. Listen, do you live your extra life? But I just have to point out some obvious things that I'm seeing. I hate to like kill people's vibe, I really do. She asked for a shoulder length haircut. It's literally not shoulder length. But what do I know? You ready? Yes. Okay, so they're washing their hair. I will do this on my mannequin. Okay. This is for the sealed, your split ends. It's kind of like a deep, deep conditioner. Okay, so now they're deep conditioning their hair. So even if <laughs> the fire haircuts did make a difference, you wouldn't be able to know if it was the deep conditioner or the fire haircuts. And I think that's the point because I'm guessing the fire haircut doesn't work and you need to mask it up with a deep conditioner. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna go and wash the mannequin and deep condition it. And then I will be coming back and following whatever they do next to her hair. Hopefully I don't light my house in flames because I just moved here and I love my house, so. I think I'm ready. So, we have Miss Nanny Quinn here, hey girl. And I just split her down the middle and you know what we're gonna do today is label one side as fire and the other side we're gonna just label as R for regular. Let's draw a line in the middle just to make sure we keep track of which side is which. Fire. Regular, because she's just a regular old girl. So to do this, of course, I have a blowtorch. These are used as a kitchen accessory for creme brulee, so perfect. I have fuel for it. I also have some water just in case things get a little bit too out of hand. She is conditioned and shampooed heavily, and you know, the regular supplies. Some hair cutting scissors. Um, oh, one more, hold on, one more thing. Perfect. All right, let's keep watching the video and see what is next. Uh, kind of excited, kind of worried for my safety, but also kind of not. All right, let's do it. Time for fire. <laughs> Special capes, we have extra protectors, we have wet towels, we have a fire extinguisher, we have a bucket of water. There is a fire extinguisher and a bucket of water next to them, just in case her hair goes up in flames. I do actually also have a wet towel, just in case. So. They are. Oh so. Gosh. What? What? Hold up. Okay, I'm gonna do this in a second, but first my opinion, because I love sharing my opinion today. And literally always. The hair is wet. It's soaking wet. I mean, I think I get it because when you're twisting it, I guess like the little hairs that pop out, like the frizz dries because it's like just little tiny pieces and then those are the only thing being burned off. All right, let's 
give it a try. I don't actually know how to use this. This seems awfully dangerous. No idea what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna take this first section here and we're going to burn her hair off. This is exhilarating. <laughs> Sorry, it smells terrible. Her hair looks burnt. I guess I, I don't know the real technique on how to do this, I guess. Um, I think that I'm gonna go and get a, maybe not this torch. Um, actually, you know what? I am gonna use this torch. I'm gonna learn how to use it, actually. A little intermission. So a lot of people think of a to culinary torch just for creme brulee, but these are great for a lot of different things. Such as hair cutting. Perfect. I definitely picked the right girl to be teaching you right now. Stick this in here. And it fills it. Yeah. We're gonna put this down. Woohoo! Yes! You just pull this little switch here down. Let it rest. <laughs> it's like a safety interlock. All right, sorry about the intermission. I, I'm, I think I'm ready now. <laughs> okay, I got it to work. Let's continue our fire haircut. So I think this piece looks nice. We're trying to get rid of like the fuzziness, I think. Nobody's really telling me what the goal is, but let's do a little bit more. I hate this thing. I'm not using this anymore. I'm just gonna use a regular lighter. I, I don't know how to use it and I'm over it. So I'll be right back. This is more my style anyways. All right, <laughs> we got a lighter and let's give it a fire haircut. All right, let's start up here. I'm just gonna aim for these little frizzy bits. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is fun. I mean, I feel like most people like playing with fire, so it's kind of like, um, like obvious. You have to really make sure this hair is wrapped tight or else you're gonna burn a lot of hair off here. So it is doing a good job at like getting rid of the dead ends without like burning all her hair off. But it's leaving like this, the gross like black residue behind. I'm really trying, okay? So don't come for me if you think I'm not trying. I actually genuinely think this would be cool if it works. So I'm noticing like there's a lot of little black dots everywhere, like where it sealed the hair and burned it off. So maybe that'll go away once we blow dry it, but let's work around the head, do this in sections and <laughs> burn the hair. It doesn't smell that bad, so that's good. I was worried about that. Um, it is fun, so I'll give them that. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to like how they're sectioning out the hair, how much hair they're doing per section, but it did. It looked to me like they were just going in and lighting the hair on fire. Why don't we just do a little recap here? Twist the hair. The yeah. That makes one of us. Mine looks like it's burning more than theirs. Also, like, I don't know how he's doing that thing where he goes like this. Like, that's not working for me. I want you to know that I've got you protected and guided through this whole procedure. I'm scared. And I'm not even the one getting it done. We wrap around a piece of cotton. This is called the PFRS. Stop. Stop. No, stop. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. That was ridiculously relaxing. I mean, I feel like I Maybe do I'll try. <laughs> okay, let me finish this. Sorry, I'm busy getting rid of her dead ends over here. Please let me be. Can a boy just do his fire haircut in peace once in a while? Honestly, do I notice a difference yet? Um, no. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do that thing they just did, but I don't want to use that much fire because like, I don't really exactly trust myself. So why don't we just run across and just try and get rid of like, I don't know, just the ex excess um, frizziness going on here. I feel like it looks smooth to me, like oddly smooth and like there's no flyaways. So I'm kind of getting into this. Like, is this gonna work or is this just gonna flop? Okay, I think that's 
sufficient enough. It looks good. I think it looks nice. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens with theirs. Wow, it's so shiny! They did a deep conditioning treatment. Oh my gosh, I feel so soft. Remember when she wanted her hair down to her, up to her shoulders? <laughs> Gets naughty, and this is just like the smoothest. Yo, am I the only one who can see those fiery split ends? Like it looks like her hair was burnt. I'm sorry, but I can see it even in this close up they're showing. So this is a great result. Yeah, I know. This is everything that I want my hair to be like. It's everybody should. Oh, okay. I, I, you guys know how I feel about that, but I, I don't want to end it there. I think we can go one step further and give her a real haircut with fire. And then we'll blow dry both sides and see what the deal is. But I wanna actually cut her hair with fire. So we have this one. This video is called California Hairstylist Sets Client's Hair on Fire to Get Rid of Split Ends. And this is by Inside Edition. So. Talk about a hot hairdo. Oh my. No. 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 I don't know if I can do this. This is scary. What? Yo, if this was actual science, everybody would be doing it. If we could bond keratin back together with fire, Everybody would be doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna cut the other side with scissors. So that's it. I'm gonna blow dry this real quick and then we're gonna do it. Okay, so the hair is now blow dried on this side and I'm really genuinely giving this a fair chance. I need to see the other side blow dried too at the same time. Um, so we'll do that after this, but I do see like a, just a lot of shorter hair coming off of her long hair. I mean, I, I feel like it looks a lot worse, like concerningly, it's like there's so many little hairs, <gasps> but I don't know. We're gonna see what the other side looks like once they're both dry and compare because maybe it already was like that, but I don't know. All right, let's just get this over with. And please don't let me die um, or burn my house down. Um, so I saw in the video, he like put a comb in the hair and then just like started burning it wherever he wanted the comb to land. Okay. Okay, all right. Mine's not going up in flames like his did. So clearly he put something Oh my god, it smells so bad. Oh my god, do I let my- Oh my god, please let me let my car- Okay, I have a towel down, guys, so... Oh my god, it smells so bad. I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm gonna- Oh my god, the smoke detector's gonna go off. <laughs> okay, I can't do much more of this. This is really gross. This is really, really gross. I mean, do you see what's happening here? I, I mean, like, I don't want to die. I don't want to burn my house down. And this is actually really scary to do. Not even me being a dramatic. Like, this is honestly just scary. And I don't want to set my alarms off my house. I don't want to burn everything to the ground. And for the sake of a YouTube video. So that is that. Clearly, it looks disgusting. Oh, it feels so bad. It feels so crusty. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're done with the fire for today. So last test, let me just blow dry both sides the exact same way. All I did was just um, run the blow dryer over this and very lightly use a flat brush to blow dry. That way I can get very natural, dry, and not manipulate it too much with a round brush just to really test out what that fire did for her hair. Let me quickly blow dry the other side the exact, the exact same way and let's test out what's the deal here. All right. Do it. All right, so there we have it. Both sides are blow dried. I blow dried them the exact same way. I did not put any product in her hair besides the conditioner. Everything's exactly the same, except this side we use fire to cut. So let's do an up close inspection, both of us. Let's, let's both do it at the same time. I'll, again, this side was the regular side, and this side is the um, fire side. So, see it there? So that is that. Let's see. Based on feel, 
I don't feel anything different at all. Okay, something on the ends though, I don't know if it was probably because of that last thing I did that had, I feel fried to death. I'm not really judging that because I want to go, I want to really judge on like the kind of split end treatment the other salon was doing because that's what I'm more interested in because clearly, guys, please just don't literally chop your hair with fire. Maybe the split end thing, let's, let's, let's really go in here um, and look closer. I, I don't know if I really see a huge difference. But I'm like, looking at the surface, don't see really any difference. I am also not a professional at fire haircutting. So it's possible that I didn't do it completely correct and the other people did, but I see basically the same amount of split ends and flyaways as I do on the other side. But you be the judge, that is the close up. You guys saw it. So that's a good thing. I mean, <laughs> at least it wasn't exactly bad for the hair, but it, I don't think it particularly did anything special. Oh. Firefighter Brad is here. I don't know why this hat is crooked, but I came to the conclusion that, uh, first of all, I don't know. I, I never took a class on, on fire haircutting, but I don't believe there is real experts in it. I don't know. If you happen to be a fan of fire haircutting, that is cool. I don't think it does any harm if it's done the way it was done in the first video. The second video, I think terrible idea. I'm gonna be honest. My recommendation would be to not do fire haircuts just because I see no benefit and I only see a potential hazard, potential risk doing that. But if that's your thing, go for it. I don't wanna say anything rude about it because clearly some people really like it and that's awesome. And we're all entitled to our own opinion. So fire haircuts, gonna be a no for me. So. Case closed on that one. I will not be doing any more fire haircuts on anybody, especially real human beings. Um, but interesting concept and I'm glad I gave it a try today. Always try new things, you know? That's what life's about. So don't forget to um, enter my giveaway for Glitterati if you guys would like to win one. Follow Lexmoto, follow Bradmoto NYC on Instagram and Twitter. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.